Hello and welcome to Advanced Care Tutorials. I'm Cole Josh and this is episode one. Let's get started. So first things first, uh, let's go over what this series is going to be. Basically, we will create a game over a couple of videos and it will be kind of a, a progressive tutorial where video one will be part one of the game, video two will be part two of the game, and so on. And eventually we'll complete this game. And within this game, it will be rather advanced to create. And those advanced aspects of the game will be able to be, be used in other things you're creating in Scratch. And so hopefully you learn a lot from this. And uh, let's get started with the first game. Of course, before we get started with the first game, we do have to go over what that game is going to be. It's going to be a, a Pong recreation, but with a little bit of a twist. Basically, the paddle will be controlled with your mouse, uh, but it will be it will follow your mouse so that uh, if you have like, like it'll be a, a line segment that's 100 pixels long, and one end of the paddle will be attached to your mouse, and the other end will just kind of follow the first end as you would expect, and uh, the ball will bounce off at realistic angles, and some obstacles will appear that will also bounce the ball around. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. And uh, now I think we are actually ready to get started with the programming. So the first thing we're going to need to do is render the line segment that's going to be our paddle. So if we just do render line, it is technically a line segment. You can all get mad at me in the comments. Um, but we're just going to call it a line. So we have render line x1, y1, x2, y2. So these are our points. x1, y1 is a point. x2, y2 is a point. And so we're going to render this line. It's going to be relatively simple here. We're just going to go pen up. Uh, and then we're going to clear. And we're going to set our pen color to whatever color this is. It doesn't really matter. Uh, set pen size to 5. And then we're just going to go to the first point. And then we're going to put our pen down and go to the second point. So it's relatively simple, nothing too complicated. Uh, but, you know, we're easing our way into the, the complicated stuff. So there we go. Let's just double check, make sure, make sure this works, excuse me, by making a forever block and render line from 0, 0 to mouse x, mouse y. And that way we can just make sure that everything is working. So, beautiful. Everything is working. The cat is kind of in the way. Um, I'm going to hide you. Sorry, Scratch. Your mascot is great, but not right now. So, we've got this line segment. Now what we need to do is make the back end follow the front end in, in the sense that it will keep the paddle always the same length. So that we'll, we'll make the back end essentially uh, go towards the front end uh, until the paddle is a length of 100 pixels. That's how this is going to work, this whole uh, paddle movement thing. So the first thing we need to do is figure out the angle between the back end of the paddle and the front end, and then it'll just move along that angle. And so finding angles like this can be rather tricky. It's going to be, be using a bit of trigonometry. So we'll make another block called get angle from x1, y1. Uh, this is another point. x1, y1 is a point. Two and then x2, y2 is also a point. So we've got this, this angle thing. And so we're going to have to figure this out. So uh, we're going to use a bit of trigonometry. It's called ATAN. Well, well, first we'll create our output variable called angle. That's what we're going to set uh, using our custom block. Uh, this is inverse tangent, essentially, uh, as far as I know. And so what we're going to do is it's going to be x2 minus x1 and over y2 minus y1. And so this is sort of a, a slope type thing. And it's going to, if you know about triangles and slope and like the slope of a line segment, that's essentially what this is. We're taking our slope and turning that into an angle uh, that you have to travel it to go in that same direction as the line segment. Uh, it's a little bit complicated if you don't know trigonometry, you haven't been taught that yet, uh, but I wouldn't be too concerned. So what we're going to do to test this block out is just point in the direction. Well, first we're going to use the block 
to get the angle from 0, 0 to our mouse x and mouse y. And so this is going to basically get the angle of the line that we're already drawing. And then we'll just point in direction of the output so we can see what's happening using this little reader right here. And it seems to be working. However, when you go to the bottom half, it's actually inversed. So that now it's going the opposite direction, but only on the bottom half. The top half is wonderful. I don't know why. It just is math. So we are going to fix that with an if statement. If y1 is less than y2, then we want to uh, keep it how we're doing it right now. However, if it's not less, then we want to add 180 degrees, which will flip it around and solve that problem. So that now, all the way around, it looks wonderful. However, there is still one last problem. If you go to 90 degrees, it appears as negative 90, as you can see down here. Uh, so that is another if statement type fix, which isn't beautiful, but that's the best way of doing it. So we're going to say if the two y's are equal, which means that you have a horizontal line, then we're going to check to see if x1 is less than x2. So if x1 is less than x2, then our angle should be 90. Otherwise, it should be negative 90. And that should just clear up any problems we have there. So now we have a fully working block. Uh, 90 degrees does work. Negative 90 also works. Uh, all the other angles in between work. And so now you can see that we've got this working script. Unfortunately, that is all we're going to have time for for today. And so I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, if you did like this episode, please click that like button, leave a comment down below, and uh, let me know what you think of this series. Hopefully it can go well and we'll keep posting more videos. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think.